Neuromyelitis Opticus Spectrum Disorder Neuromyelitis Opticus Spectrum Disorders in MOST is an etiologically heterogeneous syndrome predominantly characterized by acute inflammation of the optic nerve optic neuritis on and the spinal cord myelitis. Episodes of on and myelitis can be simultaneous or successive. A relapsing disease course is common, especially in untreated patients. In more than 80% of cases, NMO is caused by immunoglobulin G autoantibodies to aquaporin-4 anti-AQ fur, the most abundant water channel protein in the central nervous system. A subset of anti-AQ fur negative cases is associated with antibodies to myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein anti-MOG. Rarely, NMO may occur in the context of other autoimmune diseases, e.g. connective tissue disorders, paraneoplastic syndromes, or infectious diseases. In some cases, the etiology remains unknown idiopathic NMO. Multiple sclerosis MS and NMO can be similar in clinical and radiological presentation, and MS may very rarely present with an NMO-like phenotype, e.g., in patients with long-standing MS resulting in confluent spinal cord lesions mimicking the long spinal cord lesions typically seen in MS. In consequence, an MO was wrongly considered a clinical variant of MS in the past. However, an MO is not caused by MS in the vast majority of cases, but differs from MS substantially in terms of pathogenesis, clinical presentation, magnetic resonance imaging, cerebrospinal fluid findings, disease course and prognosis. Signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of NMOST are dependent on which neurologic structures the disease affects and, to some extent, which antibodies are involved. Signs and symptoms usually follow a relapsing and remitting course, but occasional can be progressive monophasic. Deficits can be temporary or permanent, the latter especially in the absence of treatment. The most common initial manifestation of the disease is inflammation of the spinal cord myelitis. Myelitis causes spinal cord dysfunction, which can cause muscle weakness, reduced sensation, or loss of bladder and bowel control, as well as erectile dysfunction. Not seldom, the myelitis is transverse, meaning it affects an entire cross-section of the spinal cord, causing bilateral symptoms. The second most common initial manifestation of the disease is inflammation of the optic nerve and slash or optic chiasm optic neuritis on. On may lead to varying degrees as visual impairment with decreased visual acuity, although visual field defects or loss of color vision may occur in isolation or prior to formal loss of visual acuity. Compared to idiopathic on and on due to multiple sclerosis MS, on due to and most more often has severe visual loss at onset, bilateral involvement, and permanency of visual deficits. Classically, NMO included only symptoms of myelitis and on. However, with the discovery of disease causing antibodies, a broader spectrum of disease manifestations have been grouped with NMO into the diagnosis of NMOST. Less commonly than the spinal cord and optic nerve, NMOST can affect the brainstem. Lesions in the brainstem or upper cervical spinal cord can cause respiratory insufficiency. Lesions in area postremo of the medulla oblongata can cause vomiting or hiccups, as well as in pain and tonic spasms. Additional brain lesions are common, but often asymptomatic though cognitive deficits as well as depression may be underdiagnosed sequely. Lesions may also affect the deencephalon mostly in AQ for a G and MOST. Causes and MOST is caused by an autoimmune attack on the nervous system. In more than 80% of cases, IgG autoantibodies against aquaporin minus 4 anti aq plus are the cause, and in 10-40% of the remaining cases, IgG antibodies against MOG are the cause. The cause of remaining cases is still unknown, and it is likely heterogeneous. Why autoimmunity develops is largely unknown. Multiple genetic and environmental factors are known to increase risk of developing and MOST. The strongest risk factor is female sex, especially in AQ for IgG positive and MOST. Multiple human leukocyte antigen HLA alleles are associated with and MOST, 
Enema was associated in the past with many systemic diseases. Some researchers have pointed out that some other cases could be paraneoplastic. It seems also clear that lupus can produce enema IgG autoantibodies, leading to some cases of lupus derived enema. The discovery of enema IgG anti acufer has opened a new way into the research for the causes. Pathophysiology Anti acufer plus variants and MOST is usually caused by autoantibodies targeting aquaporin 4 acufer, a channel protein in the cell membrane that allows water to cross. Acufer monomers form tetramers, and the tetramers aggregate. Acufer is found in astrocytes, which are the basis for the glymphatic system. Thus, in MOST involving acufer IgG can be considered an astrocytopathy or autoimmune astrocytic channelopathy since the astrocytes are semi-selectively destroyed. The astrocytes surround the blood-brain barrier BBB, a system responsible for preventing substances in the blood from entering the brain. For antibodies from the blood to reach astrocytes in the CNS, they must cross the BBB, the mechanism of which is not completely known. Some reports point to the metalloproteinase minus 2 and interleukin minus 6 as culprits for the BBB failure. There is broad consensus that AQ for slash enema with G initially enters the brain via BBB deficient sites such as area postroma, where access to CSF occurs. In any case, anti AQ for is produced mainly intrathecally. Within astrocytes, AQ for is primarily found in astrocytic foot processes that abut blood vessels and the lining of the brain meninges. And most brain lesions is seen under a microscopic show IgG again inflammatory cells and complement deposits around blood vessels. AQ4 IgG is a member of the IgGon immunoglobulin family, which is an activator of the complement system, which seems to play an integral part in the autoimmune response. There is a loss of astrocytes and sometimes also a loss of neurons and oligodendrocytes. Loss of cells other than astrocytes is a consequence of collateral inflammatory damage or astrocyte dysfunction, and MOST selectively affects the optic nerve, spinal cord, and brain stem. This selectivity can be explained by the increased amount of AQ4 in these structures, and furthermore by the increased amount of AQ4 aggregates in the optic nerve and spinal cord. The increased BBB permeability at the area postroma helps explain involvement there. AQ4 is present in tissues outside of the central nervous system, for example, kidneys, but these tissues aren't affected in NMOST, at least in part because of the presence of autoimmune downregulators outside of the central nervous system. In NMOST, areas of brain tissue that appear normal in conventional MRI can show damage in diffusion tensor imaging, although less so compared to multiple sclerosis MS. Most research into the pathology of NMO has focused on the spinal cord. The damage can range from inflammatory demyelination to necrotic damage of the white and gray matters. The inflammatory lesions in NMO have been classified as type Roman II lesions complement mediated demyelination, but they differ from MS pattern Roman II lesions in their prominent paravascular distribution. Therefore, the pattern of inflammation is often quite distinct from that seen in MS. AQ for IgG levels are coarsely correlated with NMOS disease activity, generally increasing before relapse and declining during remission, with higher levels being correlated to more severe disease manifestation. NMO IgG negative cases are less understood. It seems that astrocytes are spared in these IgG negative cases. Anti emoji plus variants. The second most frequent autoantibody in NMO is emoji IgG, which targets myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein emoji. Emoji is an integral membrane glycoprotein found on the surface of oligodendrocytes and the outermost surface of myelin sheaths. Its function is not entirely known. Emoji IgG is produced outside the central nervous system CNS despite emoji. Emoji IgG positive and MOS brain lesions as seen under a microscopic, show demyelination with preservation of oligodendrocytes and axons, presence of inflammatory cells, and IgG and complement deposits. 
Emoji IgG levels coarsely correlate with disease severity, with levels being higher during active disease and higher levels being associated with more severe disease manifestation. Antibodies against emoji are considered mostly absent in similar diseases, like MS therefore. It can be said that anti-emoji is a group contained inside AQ fur IgG negative and MOST. Together with the anti-AQ fur they form the wider part of the NMO spectrum. They classify the NMO cases in four classes according to the presence or absence of any of these two main autoantibodies. The clinical course and the response to therapy is different for these groups, showing a better prognosis for those in the NMO ab slash emoji ab group, and a worse prognosis for those in the NMO ab plus slash emoji ab plus group. The emoji related NMO can be radiologically identified by the kinase involvement. Myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein antibody positive patients were more likely to have kinase involvement on spinal magnetic resonance imaging. Diagnosis and MOST is diagnosed using consensus clinical criteria, which have undergone multiple revisions most recently in 2015. Diagnostic criteria are more relaxed for seropositive AQ fur IgG cases than they are for surrogative AQ fur IgG cases. If AQ fur IgG is detected, then one core clinical criterion, along with the ruling out of alternative diagnoses, is sufficient for in MOST diagnosis. If AQ fur IgG is undetected or its status unknown, two core clinical criteria, each with supportive MRI findings along with the ruling out of alternative diagnoses, are needed for in MOST diagnosis. Rarely, it has been reported that some courses of anti-NMDUR are consistent with NMO. Preliminary reports suggest that other autoantibodies may play a role in rare cases of NMO and MOST with emoji. IgG is considered a manifestation of anti-emoji-associated encephalomyelitis. Spectrum constituents After the development of the NMO IgG test, the spectrum of disorders comprising NMO was expanded. The spectrum is now believed to consist of consist of, consist of, of standard NMO according to the diagnostic criteria described above, limited forms of NMO, such as single or recurrent events of longitudinally extensive myelitis and bilateral simultaneous or recurrent optic neuritis, Asian optic spinal multiple sclerosis osms, or ACT4 plus osms. This variant can present brain lesions like MS, but it should not be confused with an AQ for negative form of inflammatory demyelinating diseases of the central nervous system spectrum, sometimes called optic spinal MS, longitudinally extensive myelitis, or optic neuritis associated with systemic autoimmune disease, optic neuritis or myelitis associated with lesions in specific brain areas such as the hypothalamus, periventricular nucleus, and brainstem, NMO IgG negative NMO, AQ for antibody surrogative NMO poses a diagnostic challenge. Some cases could be related to anti-myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein emoji autoantibodies. Differential diagnosis. AQ for a negative NMO presents problems for diagnosis. The behavior of the oligoclonal bands can help to establish a more accurate diagnosis. Oligoclonal bands in NMO are rare and they tend to disappear after the attacks, while in MS they are nearly always present and persistent. It is important to notice for differential diagnosis that, though uncommon, it is possible to have longitudinal lesions in MS. Other problem for diagnosis is that AQ for AB in emoji AB levels can be too low to be detected. Some additional biomarkers have been proposed. NMO differs from MS in that it usually has more severe sequelae after an acute episode than standard MS, MS infrequently presents as transverse myelitis and oligoclonal bands in the CSF, as well as white matter lesions on brain MRI, are uncommon in NMO but occur in over 90% of MS patients. Recently, AQ4 has been found to distinguish standard MS from NMO, but as MS is a heterogeneous condition, and some MS cases are reported to be Kerfer.1 channelopathies autoimmunity against the potassium channels, it is still possible 
to consider NMO as part of the MS spectrum. Besides, some NMO AQ4 variants are not astrocytopathic, but demyelinating. Two effective demyelinating lesions in NMO are not usual, but they have been reported to appear in several cases mistakenly treated with interferon beta. Also an overlap with the s Jogren syndrome has been reported. Evolution of Diagnostic Criteria Since the discovery of AQ for autoantibody, it has been found that it appears also in patients with NMO-like symptoms that do not fulfill the clinical requirements to be diagnosed NMO recurrent and simultaneous optic nerve and spinal cord inflammation. The term in most neuromyelitis opticus spectrum disorders has been designed to allow incorporation of cases associated with non aq for biomarkers. Therefore, it includes all the clinical variants due to anti aq for plus other non-related but clinically similar syndromes like anti-emoji-associated encephalomyelitis. Some cases with emoji plus and aq for plus antibodies have been found. The collection of these condition has been named neuromyelitis, optica spectrum disorders in MOST, and they are expected to respond to the same treatments as standard NMO. Some authors propose to use the name autoimmune aquaporin menace for channelopathy for these diseases, while others prefer a more generic term AQ for astrocytopathy that includes also problems in AQ for with a non autoimmune origin. Treatment there is no cure for NMO, but it is treatable. Some patients recover, but many are left with impairment of vision and limbs, which can be severe in some cases. Attacks Long-term neurologic deficits are the cumulative effects of acute attacks, emphasizing the importance of acute treatment. Traditionally, attacks have been treated with short courses 3-5 days of high-dosage intravenous corticosteroids, like methylprednisolone roman 4 solumedrol Early initiation of treatment with steroids have shown to improve vision-related outcomes after acute attacks. However, there is still is no high-level evidence for steroids affecting long-term outcomes. This treatment strategy was borrowed from similar diseases, idiopathic optic neuritis, and multiple sclerosis. Plasmapheresis can be an effective treatment when attacks progress after the administration of corticosteroids or do not respond to corticosteroids. This treatment involves your own blood being pumped out of your body, your own blood cells being removed from the plasma and being mixed with a solution, then the new blood mixture being pumped back into your body. Secondary Prevention Treatment in order to prevent relapses for NMO is generally employed but the exact duration of prophylaxis is still debated. FDA approved pharmaceuticals FDA approved pharmaceuticals for AQ for IgG positive and MOST, shown to be effective in phase Roman three clinical trials, became first available in 2019. As of 2020, they are among the most expensive drugs worldwide. They are not available in pill form which, with their price, reduces their accessibility. These new drugs' effectiveness in AQ for IgG negative in MOST is unknown. Off-label treatments Many treatments are used despite the lack of phase Roman three clinical trials characterizing their efficacy. Neither inferiority nor superiority to the newer FDA-approved drugs has been clearly demonstrated, and considering their reduced price and availability in pill format, remain the current standard treatment. Most of these medications affect the immune system in various ways. It is important to note that certain immunosuppressants used to treat MS, such as interferon B, fingolimod, natalizumab, and alentuzumab worsen NMO disease progression and should not be used to treat NMO. Prognosis Normally, some measure of improvement appears in a few weeks, but residual signs and disability may persist severely sometimes. The disease can be monophasic, i.e. a single episode with permanent remission. However, at least 85% of patients have a relapsing form of the disease, with repeated attacks of transverse myelitis and slash or optic neuritis. In patients with the monophasic form, the transverse myelitis and optic neuritis occur simultaneously or within days of each other. On the other hand, 
patients with the relapsing form are more likely to have weeks or months between the initial attacks and to have better motor recovery after the initial transverse myelitis event. Relapses usually occur early, with about 55% of patients having a relapse in the first year and 90% in the first five years. It is possible that the relapsing form is related to the anti acufer plus seropositive status and the monophasic form related to its absence unlike MS, NMO rarely has a secondary progressive phase in which patients have increasing neurologic decline between attacks without remission. Instead, disabilities arise from the acute attacks. Approximately 20% of patients with monophasic NMO have permanent visual loss, and 30% have permanent paralysis in one or both legs. Among patients with relapsing NMO, 50% have paralysis or blindness within five years. In some patients, 33% in one study, transverse myelitis in the cervical spinal cord resulted in respiratory failure and subsequent death. However, the spectrum of NMO has widened due to improved diagnostic criteria and the options for treatment have improved. As a result, researchers believe these estimates will be lowered. Epidemiology Prevalence varies by region, ranging from 0.5 to 10 per 100,000 people. Unlike MS, prevalence has not been found to be related to latitude. NMO is more common in women than men, with women comprising over two-thirds of patients and more than 80% of those with the relapsing form of the disease. A retrospective study found that prevalence of hash neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorders in MOST was 1.5% inside a random sample of neurological patients, with an MSMS -MS and MOST ratio of 42.7. Among 13 in MOST patients, 77% had long spinal cord lesions, 38% had severe optic neuritis, and 23% had brain or brainstem lesions. Only 56% had clinically definite NMO at follow-up. NMO is more common in Asians than Caucasians. In fact, Asian optic spinal multiple sclerosis osms, which constitutes 30% of the cases of MS in Japan, has been suggested to be identical to NMO differences between osms and classic MS in Japanese patients. In the indigenous populations of tropical and subtropical regions, MS is rare, but when it appears, it often takes the form of osms. The majority of NMO patients have no affected relatives, and it is generally regarded as a non-familial condition. History First reports on an association of spinal cord and optic nerve disorders date back to the late 18th and early 19th century. However, only an 1870 report by Sir Thomas Clifford all but created sustained interest of neurologists and ophthalmologists in this rare syndrome. In 1894, Eugene Divick and his Ph.D. student Fernand Galt described 16 patients who had lost vision in one or both eyes and within weeks developed severe spastic weakness of the limbs, loss of sensation, and often bladder control. They recognized these symptoms were the result of inflammation of the optic nerve and spinal cord, respectively. In 2002, Mayo Clinic researchers identified an humoral mechanism targeting a paravascular protein as the culprit for NMO and in 2004 an unknown specific autoantibody was found. In 2005 they identified the aquaporin-4 protein as the target of the disease and developed first in-house test to aid in the diagnosis of NMO by detection of an antibody, aq 4 g in the blood. First quantitative illicit kits were developed later. Later some other autoantibodies have been found in NMO aq for negative cases, like anti emoji g but some NMO anti aq for negative cases still remain idiopathic. Research Directions Directions since the discovery of AQ4 involvement, some research studies have focused on targeted treatment aimed at anti aquaporin 4 antibodies. The most established method for antibody removal is plasmapheresis. A number of drugs are being studied aquaporumab non pathogenic antibody blocker of AQ4 IG binding, civilestet neutrophil elastase inhibitor, 
and eculizumab complement inhibitor. There is little research into the primary causes of the anti-AQ for autoantibodies. It has been noticed that some cases could be perineoplastic. In addition, several NMO variants have been discovered with antibodies other than those for AQ fur, turning NMO into a heterogeneous disease. Six different patterns of damage have been reported in NMO, raising the possibility of six different types of autoantibodies. As of 2019, only three of them are known. Research into new autoantibodies an autoantibody glial fibrillary acidic protein GFAP was found in 2016 in transverse myelitis letum and atypical NMO, leading to the concept of autoimmune GFAP astrocytopathy. Other autoantibody under research is flotulin. It has been found in surrogative NMO and some MS patients. Finally, other proteins under study are Connexin 43 and anti as of 2015. There are only initial reports about the involvement of these proteins. The group AQ4 plus slash emoji plus is very small and it can be considered a coincidence of two independent problems in the same person. Assuming these cases could be verified, five different kinds of NMO are being considered. NMO derived from an autoimmune channelopathy AQ4 and plus, around 80% of the cases. NMO derived from an anti-emoji associated encephalomyelitis, around 10% of the cases. Connexin minus 43 NMO, aquaporin minus 1 associated NMO, which could be related to pattern Roman 3 MS. Idiopathic NMO defined by the absence of all previous antibodies. Antibody negative neuromyelitis optica. Some cases of NMO are not due to autoantibodies. They constitute an overlap between NMO and MS. Some statistical studies show that antibody-negative NMO can be classified in three groups and that this classification has a pathogenic meaning. Notable patients. Patients. Cassie Mitchell Paralympian and biomedical engineering professor. Christine Hasheff and author.